All right, it's DJ Gassy with DJ Gassy's talk show. We're here in Harlem with the one and only KD McGregor, author of the book uh, Backs Against the Wall. KD, how you doing, my brother? All right. All right. Listen, man, um, I know you got a big event coming up, the, the Literary Mixer. We're going to talk about that in a few minutes. But in the meantime, you know, for my viewers that don't know who you are, where you're from, what you do, man, uh, put them up to speed. Um, I'm KD McGregor from um, Harlem, uh, born and raised. Um, you know, I'm um, an author. Uh, Backs against the wall, and I'm um, here to um, bring the way back to his uh, true feeling, back to his true feet. Yeah, now your book, Backs Against the Wall, I read it before I reviewed it for DJ Gas's book club. Uh, that featured you on my radio show a couple of weeks ago with Mel Robinson. Um, but still, a few things I wanted to talk to you about because, again, these viewers may have not um, heard of you. So tell us a bit about the book, uh, Backs Against the Wall. When did you write it? When was it actually published? I actually written it. Uh, I've actually written the book like 2007, 2008 when I was incarcerated. Okay. I actually published the book like 2015. Like, you know, I, I was out for a while, but I published it around 2015. All right. Now, again, I said I reviewed the book. Um, very interesting book. I gotta admit. I uh, don't want to do any spoilers right now while we're talking about doing the interview. But I will read some of the synopsis, and, and it goes like this. It says, there's only one thing that's certain in life. From the day we were born, we will surely die. What makes life interesting is everything that happens in our lives in between the beginning and the end. Uh, and I'm going to leave that right there. Now, you mentioned that you wrote the book while you were incarcerated. Now, during my radio interview, you had mentioned that you had been incarcerated. Um... How long were you incarcerated and, and um, you know, tell us a little bit about that whole experience, man. Yeah, I was incarcerated for seven years. Uh, I had, um, I had, I was in the streets running around, you okay. know, doing what I do. And it wasn't the right thing, but, you know, it was survival tactics, I guess, at the time. Mm -hmm. And um, through, that, through that, I wound up getting uh, incarcerated. And uh, it was a learning experience. I mean, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. It wasn't good. Yeah. But, you know, it was a learning experience. And through... Through that bad experience became a uh, good thing came out of a bad experience. Yeah, now I want to mention that. Um, you said you wrote the book while you were incarcerated. What was your motivation to writing the book? And, you know, um, how did you get to backs against the wall? Uh, again, um, it was just time. So, you know, I, like, I, I started originally writing about my life. Okay. My own experience, like uh, autobiography about myself, which is easy to write about yourself. Mm -hmm. It's all true. But once you get the the, the nick of writing and you put it in, in, in words on paper, it, it starts to flow. So, you know, once I had it on paper, um, my imagination started to go. And that's when I came up with uh, Backs Against the Wall. Now, you've written a book, Backs Against the Wall. Uh, you've done book events. You're promoting the book. Um, what are some of the... How's your life changed? Um, being an author, I mean, because you, you get incarcerated, uh, you know, for, for whatever the crimes were. You write a book while you're, while you're in prison. Now you come home and publish the book. How has your life changed, you know, being a published author um, who, who's back home now? How does that, how does that change? It changes in a, in a good way because it, it opens doors for you. Like, doors open through the book, it opens doors that may have not been open to you before. Like, in, in, in everything in life, we need an end. And that was an end to a lot of different positive things in the community. Back um, in ACS, where I was a part of for a while, I was able to get back involved with them um, through the book and through some of my endeavors. You know, so it opened up some doors to me as a being a positive role model sure. from a negative environment. Yeah, yeah I like you turned your life around. You wrote a book and trying to make a difference. Um, what has been some of the feedback that you've gotten from you know uh, readers, uh, fans, people who know you before you you know went through that transition? You know, what has been some of the feedback that you've gotten from from you know family, friends, or readers out here since you've been? Well, the, the, the first thing I always get back is the the reality of it. Is it a real book? Like, is it is it really fiction? You know, because okay. it's just that real. So it's like, is it really fiction, or is it something that you really did? So that's, that's, that's good. <laughs> that when you can write a book and you have to convince someone that this is really not what you did or do. Yeah. It's, that's, that's, and it's really like convincing. Like People look at you like, yeah, right, okay. But this is the truth. It's not something I do. It's just totally work of fiction. So sure. 
that's the best part of writing. If you can really sell your story and people have a hard time believing this is not real. Yeah. Set a plus. Yeah. All right, once again, it's DJ Gatsby. We're here filming for the DJ Gatsby Show in Harlem with author K.D. McGregor. Uh, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back to talk to him more about his latest book and the upcoming uh, event that he has.